I've cracked the code on how to color your buttercream using deep and dark colors. It has no bitter taste. It has no runny dyed mouth syndrome. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to use a whole bottle of food coloring anymore to achieve those deep dark rich colors like reds and blacks and dark greens and things like that and i'm gonna share with you the process of how i'm able to do this without all of those negative side effects the type of buttercream that you use will play a factor in how well your buttercream colors so on a scale of american to meringue based american buttercreams of course are generally the easiest to color whereas meringue based buttercreams that uses like some form of egg product those are going to be a little bit more difficult to color just simply because it's just more difficult for that coloring to take hold of those egg whites now the dream cream where the dream cream falls into this it falls in the middle between american and a meringue based buttercream it has simple ingredients with a simple process like american buttercream but it has the lightness the taste the texture of a meringue based buttercream but without the eggs if you would like to try this buttercream the recipe will be link below in the description another thing that plays a big factor in how you color your buttercream is the type of food colorings that you choose to use there are a plethora of food colorings like powdered oil based water based and gel based keep in mind that depending on your medium that will determine the type of food colorings that you use there is a difference in the brand of food colorings that you use some food coloring brands they just leave an aftertaste if you use them it's just how they're manufactured it's just the ingredients that are used to create those colors and it will leave behind an aftertaste no matter how little or how much you add into it different brands just yield different quality of products so the vibrancy of your color will vary based on the brand that you choose to use for this demonstration i'm going to be using my dream cream buttercream if you want to get the recipe you know it's linked down in the description below but this is what I'm gonna be using for the demonstration as well as gel food colorings I specifically chose gel food colorings just for the simple fact that this is what I use in my actual real life so when I would go to add coloring to my buttercream trying to get those deep dark colors it would never show up really bright and vibrant as advertised and so I think like okay maybe I need more because this red is looking real pink this black is looking real gray right so you add more and more and more food coloring until you achieve that deep dark color but by the time you actually get to that deep dark color the buttercream has changed in consistency it is bitter tasting it stains the mouth and those are all negative things that we don't want our customers and clients to and we don't want to experience when we're eating a cake the reason why we end up having to use more and more is because we're not really mixing in incorporating that food coloring into the buttercream instead it's like the food coloring is kind of just sitting on top of or kind of sitting next to the buttercream instead of really meshing and coming together to create that deep dark rich color let me show you what i mean the hobby lobby brand have my dream cream okay so i have now mixed in the black food coloring and as you can see this is not black <laughs> it's actually kind of like this grainy grayish kind of color and generally at this stage like you think like oh i need more food coloring because this is gray and so you dump the whole bottle into this into this buttercream to get that deep black i've transferred the food coloring to a cutting board to be able to really get that color to mix in with the buttercream and a process i like to call pressing the color into the buttercream <laughs> by using an offset spatula and pressing it into the buttercream as i spread it it infuses the color into the buttercream bringing the darkness of the color to life in just these few seconds you are already able to see the difference of color between the two buttercreams and all i've done is get that color really into the buttercream you continue this process until all the color has been pressed in and you have achieved the color you desire Sometimes you might need to add another drop or two to achieve the necessary shade, but you don't need the whole bottle. So let's take a look at how it started and how it's going with making this black buttercream. Like it's such a drastic difference between the colors. And the only difference from this same batch of buttercream is the fact that I really pressed and worked that color into the buttercream. No extra dye needed. 
Hey, future me popping in. I just learned something really cool that I needed to share with you. So for larger batches that you want to color, like those really deep, dark colors, instead of wasting all of your energy using your hand to do the pressing the buttercream in, instead get an immersion blender. This way is going to give you that same effect, but you can work with much larger batches in a much shorter amount of time. So remember how I explained that the brand of buttercream you choose can yield different results? A prime example of this is this black. Different brands of black use different color undertones. So if you look at this black, can you guess what color undertones it has? You can see this black has a greenish tint to it. So when light reflects off of it, it kind of gives off like this greenish kind of hue. The other brand I use, which is Americolor, has a purple undertone to it. So it gives off hints of purple when used. This plays a factor in the kind of black you get which can make a difference in how you pair the blacks with other colors on your cakes. This is a tip I will be utilizing in the future for achieving deeper colors, but I wanted to share some other tips with you as well that you can try like heating up a portion of your colored buttercream in the microwave, then adding it back into the main batch, letting it sit overnight to allow the color to really develop and deepen. And for blacks, using black cocoa powder as your base will also yield a deep, rich black color but it will have a deep dark cocoa flavor with your buttercream if you found this video helpful please like it and let me know in the comments if you have ever struggled with achieving deep colored buttercream and the bitter taste that generally follows and until next time peace